follow these three simple steps. Step 1. Determine your device's voltage. Your device will fall into one of three categories. Dual voltage, 110 to 120 volts only, or 220 to 240 volts only. To help out identifying this, watch our video on how to tell if your appliance is dual voltage. If your device is dual voltage, you won't need a converter or a transformer, just an adapter. If your device is 120 volts, you'll need a converter or transformer that steps down the voltage overseas to safely power your North American 110 to 120 volt devices. If your device is 220 volts only, you'll need a converter or transformer that steps up the voltage to power them in the 110 to 120 destinations like North America. Step 2. Figure out required wattage. Find your device's power by looking at the label for a number followed by a W, M, A, or A. These are the watts, milliamps, and amps. If you see the watts, you can move on to the next step. If you have an M, A, or A, you'll have to do a bit of math, but don't worry, it's easy. The two equations you'll need to know are watts equals volts times amps and amps equals milliamps times 1000. So if your amps reading is 0.8 and your volts reading is 120, then your converter will need to provide at least 96 watts of power. Step 3. Choosing the right converter or transformer. You'll want to look for a converter or transformer that provides just a bit more wattage than you need. Devices tend to surge up when they're turned on, so that little bit of extra power required needs to come from somewhere. The Subject's PU-151 transformer is designed to work with electronics up to 150 watts of power. It has a step-down transformer, so it will convert 220 volt outlets abroad to 110 volts for use with North American electronics rated less than 150 watts. The Subject's PU-200 is a 200 watt travel voltage converter that works with products rated up to 200 watts. Both of these converters also feature four USB ports to power your USB devices, such as iPhone, iPad, and other tablets or cell phones. Phew, that's what to take in, right? It is quite simple though, with three easy steps. Just remember, one, determine your device's voltage. Two, figure out required wattage using these two equations. Three, choose the right converter or transformer. We suggest the Septic's PU-151 for electronics up to 150 watts of power, or Septic's PU-200 for up to 200 watts of power. All set?